<laughs> here we go. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, here we go. The moment of truth. Okay, well, we're, we're here with Shelby and with Cam, and we just activated, or Cam just activated the <laughs> new hearing like device. An alien. <laughs> and um, I'm just testing it out with my normal voice. And what does it, how do I sound? Okay. Can you, can you hear me okay? I'm trying not to look at you, so I can't read your lips. Okay. At, wait, stop talking. Ask, wait, I'm hearing my own voice. <laughs> okay, okay. Ask me a question. Hey, my name is Dr. Lee. I am an ear, nose, throat doctor that's based in Seattle, Washington, and I do cochlear implant surgeries, which is my favorite surgery. And I just wanted to share this lovely, lovely patient um, that came to me just about a month ago, and we got her uh, scheduled for surgery, which I did five days before this video and basically I do a surgery to put one of these guys in the back of the head into the cochlea so she's had hearing loss for many many years and this is a surgery that restores hearing so just want to share this very real and authentic reaction to what a cochlear implant activation is like and she does a wonderful job of explaining kind of what she's hearing and Dr. Cameron Michael is the audiologist that's to the left of her and she he does a great job explaining so I'll try to keep my commentary to a minimum so you guys can just enjoy her reaction well are you excited about today are you nervous about today what are what is your feel what are your feelings You understood it. A little bit. No, exactly. Can you, you under it. can oh. you understand Cam? Mm -hmm. Can you understand Shelby? So talk, Shelby. Can you hear me okay right now? Yes, I can. You repeated his words perfectly. Okay, but it's a very, very strange sound. Mm -hmm. It sounds what I would describe as an alien. Very high pitched, almost mechanical. Yes. Yeah. Very weird. Not normal, kind of cartoony and strange, and like Jeff is sucking on a helium balloon. But the words were exactly what he said in the order he said them. Okay. I'm trying not to look at you to see if I can understand you without reading your lips. Okay. Okay, so I'm excited about our trip next week. What do you feel? Um, the trip next week? Yes. Gonna be very strange having a conversation with our friends, but <laughs> I can I can friends. do it. Yeah, as long as they're here, maybe, maybe we ought to be going to the uh, what is it, Site Fifty One or whatever it is, and look for aliens. <laughs> Area Fifty One. Area Fifty One. <laughs> so eventually, it's it's very very high pitched and squeaky. Mm -hmm. Will that all eventually tone down? There's sounds you have not heard in decades. Okay. And so right now your brain is going, wow, I am hearing all these things and they are the most present and weird sounds because they're new. Okay. So is that something you can adjust on the computer or that comes with the therapy? Both. Both. I just want to share that. Um, so I saw her yesterday in clinic and she was explaining to me that they were at home. This is two days after her activation day and... She was going like, what is that sound? And her husband was saying, that's rain. <laughs> that's rain that you're hearing because she hasn't heard rain or even has ever recognized the sound of rain hitting the house itself. So it was just uh, such an amazing story to hear. And um, I'm kind of getting emotional when I saw them in clinic and just watching this video again. Okay. And the answer is, I'm not going to adjust it on the computer at the moment <laughs> okay. because you are understanding speech and I want to see how you get used to things first. Okay. Yeah. Well, I can understand you, but I have to really f kind of focus on it. Sure. Mm -hmm. Because it's not just natural sound at all. Yeah. No. That's okay. You're learning Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you guys could experience this. It is so weird. Yeah. Okay. So, and I'm not, it doesn't sound like Julia Child, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs>
Just a little squeaky, a little yeah. high. Very squeaky, very mechanical sounding. That's very Very normal. high pitch. I'm not going to let you cheat. Wait, wait. See, the problem is if I talk, I can't, I can, my voice sounds the same way. Okay, so let me hear you say something again. How is the volume? Is the volume comfortable? Um, the volume? <laughs> I think the volume's pretty comfortable, yeah. Yeah, it's not too loud. You it's are doing irritating. <laughs> you are doing really, really well. This is great. Oh, you think so? Yes. Oh, because like it's not at all what I was expecting. This is better than I expected. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Oh, that's very exciting. <laughs> you do not have a conversation like this with one hearing aid. You are hearing so much better already. Of course, this is an easy place to have a conversation because it's a quiet room. And sure. Yeah. Yeah. It'll so, be interesting to see if I can understand anything when there's background noise. That will be harder yeah. for sure. Yeah. But some people take months to get to where you are right now. Okay. With only the cochlear implant in. So this is a really, that's, really good that's start. That's very encouraging. It's good. Very encouraging. Yeah. Uh, the video stops here um, and then I'm gonna, they gave me two other clips. One is Dr. Cameron Michael kind of explaining um, where she is in terms of like other cochlear implant patients. Um, so I'll show that right here. On quality, you're responding properly. Okay. Your understanding is massively different and Jeff is talking in this soft, like around the house, quiet little volume. Which hasn't happened in a long which time. Which I have <laughs> never heard you guys be able to talk like this without both of your hearing aids in. Yeah. Well, Jeff's going to benefit from this as much as me because right now, everything he says to me, he has to repeat three times. Mm -hmm. And it's only successful when I'm looking right at him. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is huge. This yes. She's totally right. Um, I think it's not just about the patient, it's about the family members. Um, every time that a uh, patient came to clinic, like the husband would have to speak very, very loudly. And even for me, counseling about the surgery, like he would have to get up and go in front of her face and she would just be looking at his lips and we would have to repeat things multiple times so that she can understand. And the fact that we can cover her, our mouths and talk to her and she can understand it's just just an amazing thing um to see um this next part is actually where they turn on the hearing aid um on her other side as well as the uh, the adjustments for the cochlear implant and you can see that she has much better sound quality um from from her cochlear implant itself and let's take a watch here Okay, so now we're turning on the hearing aid. Oh. Okay. Right, now we're turning on the hearing aid. Oh. That will sync with the I can hear a lot. I, I can hear a lot better. Mm -hmm. Although I'm still getting this high mechanical squeaky sound mm -hmm. here. It's balanced out a little bit from this. Mm -hmm. So eventually these two will blend so that I'm hearing the same because right now, it's definitely different in this room than it is in this room. Sure. Mm -hmm. The brain will adapt to that, and it normalizes. Okay. So somebody say something without me looking. So uh, are you excited about going to Melania's birthday tomorrow? <laughs> yes. I can't imagine what the happy birthday song will sound like. <laughs> well, it won't have to be as loud. It's my granddaughter's 12th birthday tomorrow, so we're, we're going over to that. Well, you would never have heard me before. I would have never heard I'm you. not I'm not talking like I normally would talk to you. Okay. Okay. Then you heard me say we're going to Melania's birthday. Yeah. No, I I can hear. I, I mean I can definitely hear what you're saying. It's mm -hmm. just extremely foreign sound to me. Yeah. But yeah. I guess that's what the rehab apps are for. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I mean, even though it sounds weird to you, your communication is massively improved already. Just the ability to understand and the volume at which everybody is talking. Okay. I agree. Well, that's amazing. Oh, so you, you can notice it. You heard that? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, I agree. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this is good news, I guess. Very good. Yeah. This is a great start. Okay. Uh, I love cochlear implants. Um, thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful for anyone that is considering cochlear implant or has a family member that needs a cochlear implant. And I um, hope this was educational. And hope you have a good day.